On today's episode, we're going to review a portfolio of a web developer based in Berlin. We're going to talk about the strategy of the website, the content, and the visual design. Let's rock and roll. Hey friends, what is up? Welcome back to Flux. My name is Ron Sega. On in this episode, we're going to drill down into a portfolio website like you people love me to do and keep submitting in the comments your website for reviews. I love checking them out and giving you feedback. Let's dive in. Um, so this is the website of Ibrahim Forkham based in Berlin. Let me just scroll through this. It has these nice over effect here and uh, we're going to drill down into this. You can see we have this kind of effect when we're hovering over image or stuff. Um, let's let's start with this. So I'm gonna start with the content and what he's trying to achieve from strategic, strategic perspective here. Then I'm gonna dive into the visual design. We're gonna talk about type, color, layout, all of these important things. So first thing I'm reading here from strategic perspective, copywriting, a web developer that will grow your brand and get you results. Immediately, I am confused because usually when you go to a web developer, you need to get things developed, right? He's a developer. And so I'm not really used to hearing that developers help me grow my brand or get me results. Now, so I'm confused, right? I know that sometimes designers or strategic designers or consultants help me build a brand or get specific results. I'm also not really sure what the results are that the website is gonna be developed fast, that it's going to be scalable, that it's like gonna help me convert more. So I think there's something confusing here with his definition of himself, I think, um, coming from development in, in what he's trying to communicate with the clients. Again, I'm not really sure. Again, I, I think uh, Ibrahim here is still very early on, so he might not really know what kind of clients he wants to work with and how exactly he's gonna help them. So he's keeping it kind of uh, broad, but I do think that if you call yourself a web developer, people are going to expect that the problem that you solve for them is development versus when you're talking about branding, which is something that has to do with design. So maybe you need to call yourself a web designer. Again, I don't really care about how you call yourself, but you just want to make sure that you're not going to confuse the person that you're talking to. So this is the first thing. Um, one more thing is, you know, when I'm opening up, you, you can click it and then the, the projects open up in a kind of a pop-up. Now, when you open that up, then he writes you, this is a template for an ancient restaurant. This project, for this project, I used React.js and uh, SCSS for the styling. So uh, visit the live website and visit the GitHub repository. So this is again, kind of aligned with the fact that he's a web developer. Obviously he cares about the technical stack in which this website was developed. But let me tell you from a client's perspective, if you're looking for somebody to build your brand or help to convert more or do more sales, they don't even know what React.js means. They don't even care about the technical foundation. They just want to get their problem solved. So again, I, I really think that it's not really clear if Ibrahim is looking to maybe get hired as a developer and he's actually talking to other developers who might want to hire him for his development skills and his understanding in React.js and, and or, or all the other frameworks that he's using, or he's actually looking to work with clients who are going to hire him for his design skill and his ability to you know put things out there. So I think this needs a little bit of clarification in terms of you know who do you what do you want from this website who do you want to hire you and i think once you are a little bit more focused about that that's going to help you to be more effective in how you write to people so i'm going to keep it to that in terms of the strategy and, and copywriting for this website let's move on to talk about the graphic design aspect and i want to start with talking about the layout here there's all kinds of layout decisions here which I found a little bit confusing, right? The, the purpose of layout is either help me organize the content so that I orient myself, I know where I am at any time, and that I feel like there's some kind of structure. Uh, not everything is thrown around where, where you see things 
not aligned and every time they're in a different place, a lot of times it give you a sense of disorder, right? You can use that, you can break out of the grid to create more interesting stuff. But if that's not done properly, sometimes it looks like a mess. Now, what am I talking about here? In this case, the, usually in most websites, you have a logo here that's on the left and then menu on the right. That's kind of the standard. Now, sometimes do people do put the logo in the background, in the, in the circle. That being said, when they put the logo in the, in the, in the center, either it's just the logo in the center and then it creates kind of a, a centered layout or it's balanced out with two things like two navigations or two buttons at the side to kind of balance it out. But here we have, you know, a, a button that is centered or an icon that is centered and only button on the right. In that sense, something is missing on the left side here, which just <laughs> makes the website don't, it doesn't feel balanced. The navigation doesn't feel balanced. And then here, as we scroll down again, there is no coherent structure or container. Usually most of our content fits within a container, which is means basically this is the maximum width our content is going to be laid out here. But here it's not really different. It's not really aligned, right? This is wider than this. And then as we go here, this is aligned to something completely different and then it's aligned to the center. So I think some fundamental decisions about you know, how things are going to be laid out. Are we going to use container um, should be used here. Also, one thing that struck me here is we have a contact form here, but the labels in the contact form are centered. Now, this is very confusing because even if you click here and you start writing your email, um, you'll see that we're, we're writing from the left side. And so First of all, it's very confusing that it's what you see here as email and name is not aligned with how you type, but usually our expectations from seeing forms all over the internet is that the form is the, the label is left aligned because we're writing from left to right. And so what actually happens when you have a label that's centered is that it actually feels like a button, right? And it's, uh, I have to really look into this and make sense that, oh, actually this is probably a form because when a label is centered, we, we're used to thinking about that as, you know, as a button. And then also this part misses a, misses the label at all. So I might completely, you know, miss the fact that I can write somewhere in here. Um, okay. That being said, let's talk about the colors. Um, I like this color palette. You know, we just made a video about color palette and this is not a bad color palette that we have going around here. That being said, some of these colors, uh, like, you know, this purple on uh, black is not highly contrasted. And while it's visible when it's, you know, when, when the letters are colored, we have a lot of text here, which is very, very thin line of a color that is not very contrasted. So when I'm scrolling here, I can totally miss this. Um, I would not say that this very, very thin lines of color that's not super contrasted uh, are visible. You can see this is way more visible, the project name versus the numbers and the project's title. And so I would consider this, you can see it also happening here with a very, very thin line of a color that's not super contrasted. Um, that's actually makes it very hard and I have to squint my eyes to make sure that I can actually uh, read this. So I would consider either using like really, you see when you actually color the letters, it becomes really, really good. So I would think about what happens, you know, before the hover and how to make this more. You can see here, very, very thin lines sometimes make things not very readable. Um, in terms of typography, I actually, you know, typography is not very bad here. Um, I like the, the color, the color choice. And of course the outline thing is, is quite trendy. Um, that being said, you know, we're starting out here with, you know, a very thin, thin kind of font. And then we have this bold font, which is outline. And then we have a font that's even bolder, 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 bolder. And then we have these titles, which are kind of, in the middle. Um, they're not very light, they're not very bold, and 
feels like kind of in the middle to me. So somehow I feel like the, there wasn't really a, a decision or a consistent decision when it came to these titles that we have here. Um, I'm missing some of the titles that I saw here before. Let's see what happens when we go into the about section. Yeah, in the about. Note what happens in the about section. First of all, it's all centered. Now, again, I, I don't have something against centered. Actually, it's not really centered. The about is, you can notice, it's a little bit identical to the left, which also, I'm not really sure if this is on purpose or a mistake. And this is, this is always a bad thing. If you're not sure if something is a mistake or on purpose, that should be fixed. It should either be obviously to the left, which would make it weird, or to completely to the to centered if everything here is centered. Um, but it's some somewhat of like a misaligned here. Also, reading a long text in centered uh, alignment is pretty tough. So not sure I would do this. And note what I said again about he actually probably wanted to highlight the fact that he's 20 years old in his name. However, because uh, this purple color has less contrast than the actual white color, what, the, what ended up happening is he actually hid <laughs> this text is harder to read. And so it actually, I have to stop, pause and try to look harder so I can see what's written here uh, before going back to the actual easier to read white text. All right, um, Ibrahim, overall, I know that you're just starting out and these are one of your first projects. So I think, well done. I mean, I think it looks quite all right as a first step. I think you need to be a little bit more focused as to what you're trying to achieve here. Who are you talking to and make some more consistent decisions in terms of your layout. Make sure things are aligned. Make sure your decisions are clear uh, and good luck on your journey finding your next project or job. Thank you all for watching. Make sure that you comment with your website below so that we can cover them on a future video. Make sure that you like this video, that you subscribe, and we'll share more of this awesome videos with you. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.